Hello everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Adi Miller. This is uh, my colleague Haim Sommer. We're from the Cortana uh, Israeli team. Hopefully you all got a chance to uh, learn a little bit and see some of the capabilities of the uh, skill kit, the Cortana skill kit. So uh, if you didn't get a chance, uh, the booth uh, for our colleagues you know, right over there, you'll be able to see a lot of capabilities around building uh, Cortana skills using the uh, bot framework. What we want to show you today is another feature of the uh, skill kit, basically the ability uh, to add some of the personalization and the knowledge that Cortana has about the user. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to have uh, a skill that I built, a very simple skill that I built about ordering pizza. Uh, and we're actually going to show this skill uh, twice. The first time we're going to show this skill uh, is uh, going to be like a very simplistic form of the skill, just ordering the pizza. And then we'll try to add a lot of capabilities around user understanding to make the skill hopefully a little more uh, exciting and engaging for the user. So hopefully, due to all the noise, Cortana is going to hear me. So we'll try that now. Hey, Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Ask Pizza Maker for a pizza. I'll need your permission. OK, so first of all, because I'm now about to share information from Cortana to the skill, uh, as you may have know, Cortana is going to ask for permission. So this is invoking the skill. And as you can see, Cortana is basically asking my permission to share information with the skill. And she's only asking now to share uh, what we call the request itself, which is what I'm asking. So I'm going to accept that. Hi. What kind of pizza do you like? Small pepperoni pizza. OK, small pepperoni pizza. Where do you want it delivered to? Home. I'm sorry, I couldn't find that address. Where do you want it delivered to? 11010 Northeast 8th Street, Bellevue, Washington. Got it. Small pepperoni pizza to be delivered to 11010 Northeast 8th Street, Bellevue, Washington. Okay, so a couple of things to notice here. First of all, Cortana, uh, sorry, the skill greeted me with like a generic hi, didn't say anything about my name or anything. And then when I asked the pizza to be delivered home, uh, the skill didn't know where home was. So I actually had to explicitly dictate uh, the address that I want this uh, pizza to be delivered to, which obviously is not a very pleasant experience to the user. So let's see how this can be uh, improved. So first of all, we're going to go to the uh, bot framework portal where I can edit the uh, skill that I created. So this is the pizza maker skill. And here you have the actual uh, Cortana channel, which is what connects the bot to Cortana and makes this work with Cortana. So I'm going to go and edit that. And I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. This is where our stuff gets interesting. And I will be able now to add some of the information that Cortana knows about the user and have it passed along to the skill. So we're going to start with something called frequent places. And I'm going to call that places. We'll also add something called away. I'll explain that in a minute. We'll call that away. Away. And finally, we will add information about the username. We'll call that name. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Slow going. OK, I'm going to jump to the code in the, in, in the meanwhile. And I'm going to very quickly add some code here. We're going to go over this a little later. And I'm going to build the skill. You guys see OK? And I'm going to publish this.
Okay, so this is published now to Azure. This is still not saving. Let's try that again. Okay, that's him. So I configured the skill to send some more information to Cortana, and I used that in the code. Sorry, to the skill, and I'm going to use that in the code. And let's see how the skill looks now. Hey, Cortana, ask Pizza Maker for a pizza. I'll need your permission. Okay, so now because I added additional information that Cortana will send to, to the skill, Cortana is prompting me again for consent. And this time, it's actually saying that it's going to send location and user information to the skill. So this is for the end user to be able to understand that this information is now going to be sent to the skill, and the user will need to accept that. So I will agree. Hi, Adam. What kind of pizza do you like? Small pepperoni pizza. Try that again. Hey Cortana, ask Pizza Maker for a pizza. Hi, Adam. What kind of pizza do you like? Small pepperoni pizza. Okay, small pepperoni pizza. Where do you want it delivered to? Home. You seem to be away from 11, Tarkad Street, Ramad Hashir in Israel. Are you sure you want the pizza delivered there? Yes. Got it. Okay, so... Small pepperoni pizza to be delivered Last to finish. 11, Tarkad Street, Ramad Hashir in Israel. Okay, so a couple of things to notice here. First of all, when Cortana started, she called me by name, which is a nicer experience for the user. And then when I said that I want the pizza to be delivered home, she actually knew where home was. She also noticed that I'm not at home right now, right? So I'm from Israel, I'm in Seattle right now, this is pretty far away. So she was able to confirm, to ask me to make sure that I confirm that I really want the pizza to be delivered home while I'm so far away. Okay, so let's see how this actually works in code. Okay, so for the first prompt, uh, I try to use the username, right? So if you can take a look at the documentation for this information. So we actually have a bunch of data points that we can send to the, to the skill. Uh, name is one of them, and name is the name object. So if I go and see an example of how the name object looks like, then I can see that it has a property called given name and family name. So this is what I'm going to use in my code here. So I actually extract this information from the context, and then I do the lookup in, through the JSON and find the name and the property given name. And this is what I use in the code, and I actually use that in the SSML to make the speech. Next, I said that I want the pizza to be delivered home. So we have, uh, we have something called frequent places, which you noticed before I asked uh, the Cortana to send to the skill. So frequent places is basically an array of hubs, and a hub object looks like this. It has type, which is the semantic uh, meaning for that specific location, whether home or work, and it has an address. So back to the code, I actually do a lookup, and I find in the places object that I got from Cortana, I look up for something with type equal to what I said. I said home, so it will find the object with type home, and it will extract uh, the address from that. And then we try to validate the address. If the address is the valid address, then we'll continue. If not, it'll try again, which is what happened in the first iteration when I said home. Home, this code was commented out. Home wasn't resolved to an actual address, so Cortana asked again. And finally, we have the uh, things around away. 
So again, I'll back to the documentation. Away is basically an indication whether I'm in or out of my usual home and work location, and which again includes basically a Boolean about being true or false, away or not. And again, I use that, I extract this token, and then I ask if away, then have Cortana ask me whether I indeed want the pizza to be delivered. So basically we saw the ability to have the skill kit send more information to the skill, information that Cortana knows, two very simple steps. First you go to the, uh, to the bot framework portal, you map these data points that you're interested in, and then they're being sent to your code, and you'll utilize those in the code to your own business logic. At runtime, as we saw, the Cortana is asking for consent initially because now we're sending information. I had the glitch, so you saw the second time it didn't ask for that anymore. And finally, you uh, uh, get this information in your code based on that specific user uh, data, the uh, hubs, name, and things like that. Uh, that's it. Haim will take it from here, talk about the value of user knowledge in general to Cortana, uh, skills, and what's coming up next. The user knowledge is actually what drives the Cortana intelligent experiences. Uh, we can actually take a look at one or two examples just to give you a feeling how it works. In time to leave, Cortana actually provides a notification. When it is time to leave to your next destination, based on your current location, and based on knowing where is your next destination and when you should be there. Uh, in the travel one, Cortana can provide indication that your flight is late based on knowing when is your next trip and what flight you are taking on. And of course, there is delay in the flight and so on. We, we, those of you who are familiar with Cortana might have experienced some more of them. And this is just to give you a glimpse what can be done with user knowledge to make intelligent experiences. In the first wave of the user knowledge elements that we are announcing today, we actually enable sets that can enable you to make your skills more intelligent. And this includes the username that refers to the user given name and family name. In the previous example that Adi showed earlier, the hi Adi was derived from that. The frequent places that refers to places where a user frequently visits, like home and work and other types are coming soon. The way, the way actually provides is a flag that provides an indication that the user is away from the home and work area and also provide information when the state have last changed. So in the example before, Cortana and the skill that we're using it knew that the is away from home and adjusted the skill accordingly. The next one is the current location of the user with the semantics of the location, which provides the geolocation and also the place where the user is, let's say the user is at work, and the last one is the cuisine preferences that provides information on the type of restaurants the user prefers, like Italian, Chinese, Mexican, etc. Three years ago, we announced Cortana, the personal digital assistant that truly knows you. Today, we are announcing the first set of user knowledge elements for skills. Behind the scenes, there are many Cortana teams that are building the user intelligence, and this is what is used to make Cortana intelligent. There is a location intelligence that enables Cortana to tell you when you need to leave to the next location without the need for the user to specify where it is. There is the next move or commute to a meeting. Even if we don't have a specified address in the meeting based on Cortana knowing where the meeting is, there is the scheduling intelligence that can tell you that you have a meeting that is very early or meeting over lunch based on that Cortana knows where you wake up and when you eat lunch. This knowledge that enabled the Cortana amazing experiences was enabled so far only for the Cortana own developers. And this is what enabled them to write amazing experiences and make Cortana what it is. Today we are announcing that this information or part of it will become available for skilled developers to build amazing experiences using the Cortana knowledge. The only prerequisite that you need is that your users will be signed in with MSA to make this happen and to utilize the Cortana knowledge for your experiences. 
Some more information about Cortana. Cortana has already 145 million users worldwide, more than 60 million in the US. The skills on Cortana operates on multi-platforms, including Windows PC, Android, iOS, and the speakers that is coming soon. It's quite easy, as I just showed, and you can go to a deeper demonstration in our booth, how to build a skill utilizing the bot framework and the Cortana channel. And, of course, to leverage the user understanding using Lewis Cognitive Services and the user knowledge elements that we showed today. This is actually what we expect that will drive the ecosystem and fly the, wheel, the flywheel around that. So for more information, you are invited to visit dev.microsoft.com slash Cortana. And we appreciate if you can provide feedback on this session. Addy and I will be around for more information and questions. So please come to us or to the booth to hear more. Thank you very much. Thank you.